You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Shannon is asking, why is PET-CT better than a CT scan or an MRI for cancer? Um, once again, it's a metabolic activity, mm -hmm. um, not just the shapes and shadows. Okay, so pet, so T, so CT scan just looks to see if there's a shape or a shadow, a mass right. of some sort that shouldn't exactly. be there. Which, as we've discussed um, between us and numerous times pertaining to, to patients, mm -hmm. um, could be scar tissue, mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily cancerous. Could right. be benign and not malignant. Right. What about the MRI? Tell tell us. A well, MRI about is that. the same. Uh, it just uses mm -hmm. it uses water molecules, the polarization of those water molecules mm -hmm. to to um, uh, determine the density of the different tissues. Okay, so but it's density still density related. So it might be a clearer image, but mm -hmm. it's still shapes and shadows. Exactly. It's not indicating cancer for sure. Exactly. Okay. So Whereas the PET CT, the nature of the test is, is a metabolic anything function. that's rapidly growing and and absorbing. That radioactive, radioactive isotope yes, exactly. is going to glow, yes. and that something about the brain and PET CT though, right? That the brain uh, you can't. So really the brain use is highly it. metabolic, so you can't um, really use a, a PET CT glucose. for brain you can. cancer. Oh, you yes, can. you can. Oh, yeah, tell me yeah more. definitely. Um, we've used it for for brains lots mm. of times. Mm. It's just that it has a higher uptake, so your background is going to be a lot higher than yeah, than. Than other tissues in the body. Okay. So you want to do a PET CT of the brain separately from the rest of the body. I see. Okay. So, but you can use a PET CT. To yeah, it's great for, for looking at pseudo progression in, in brain tumors. Mm, right. To make sure that it is mm -hmm. or, or isn't actually growing after treatment. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't give you the definition and fine detail that an MRI would, though. Mm. And that's, that's why it's mm. not used as much. Uh, in the brain, you mean? In the brain, yeah. Got it. Okay. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.